know the rules of procedure are on their way. In the meantime, I'm just explaining a couple of things uh, very quickly. Uh, so the TA, uh, we plan on doing it in pure Quebec fashion. Uh, it's for certain practical reasons. Uh, first of all, very uh, people are very interested in seeing uh, how it is we do things here. Now we understand that there are lots of uh, cultural or regional differences in how general assemblies or meetings are actually handled. So, uh, like we're having to bear with each other. There may be some uh, differences of uh, opinion on how things should go, but uh, we've made these rules of procedure, which are very much simplified. They're an adaptation of uh, how we do it at, at the SC for conferences, but also for uh, general assemblies. Uh, our code called the Vero Code. Uh, we've been meeting in since 2012. Uh, it will be done this summer, I promise. Uh, several of us have been working on that via the top already. So, uh, yeah. Like, bear in mind, we're not voting like a, on a strike or something like that, so uh, let's just, I know, I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> but just, let's just bear in mind, it's, it's almost like a game. It's not like, like a role play of how uh, a GA would be done in like a school or student union setting. So uh, at the same time, we will be discussing and deciding things, but at the same time, it's kind of like a, a chance to learn on how uh, procedures are done here. It can be very uh, dry, it can be very arid. Um, sometimes kind of alienating if it gets very long, but like we we're hoping that this goes fairly well. So uh, if we're strict or if we're curt, it's not because we're trying to be authoritarian or uh, restrict your uh, right to express, but simply to keep this as uh, accessible, democratic, and uh, functional as it can be. Uh, so we won't be enforcing rules that are not in here or less like uh, uh, beyond common sense, but uh, that should be, we should, we should be along with this thing, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, a uh, few logistic details also. This microphone right here, where you need to be speaking uh, in front of it facing front, will be for the first time speakers. And the second one will be for uh, anyone who wants to speak again for second or third uh, time. And um, when you put yourself in line to talk, um, put yourself uh, man, woman, man, woman. I mean, if we found, like, one day, I hope that we find a way to uh, add to our procedure that we could uh, include other types of um, identification of myself. But um, for um, uh, practical purposes, for now, since we don't have that way yet, we'll do the man, woman, man, woman, man, woman. Is that okay? It's not what I thought, of course. We won't be playing any games. Um. And the proof of the situation. Is it possible to put the world to play more? Is it possible to hear the to play clearer, louder, and more? Oh yeah. So very seriously, uh, there's there are some people in the assembly right now, such as me and other people that uh, are not that familiar with like we have a little bit difficulty with english especially when you talk very fast so be very mindful of that and speak slowly because otherwise okay so the procedure code should be here in a second now uh, just have in mind that every procedure including uh, and women uh, fashion uh, will be adopted by this assembly before it begins. So that total procedure will be discussed by everyone else and everyone in this room and we'll, it will be the formally adopted before we begin uh, to enforce this. <coughs> so just yeah, be aware of that. So it's open to modification at this very moment. So uh, everybody who has it in hand should try to begin to uh, read it and we'll have the rest of the greater part of the uh, as more general stuff uh, when you're at the microphone uh, be sure to speak uh, yeah be sure to take motions and make them uh, affirmative take 
they have to bring something, like to positively stated, like the, that the NSFC be for or be against something, but like, it's not very practical, it's like, it is the, it's that we do not do something, rather that we do something, or that we are this or that, but rather than we're not that. Uh, it's really easier for that than we're actually going to do something like that. And uh, when you're at the microphone, and when you're debating subjects, uh, be sure to discuss ideas and not to, not to personalize the debate, do not discuss people. Uh, some, some ideas are good, some ideas are bad, so if an idea is bad, attack the idea, and our person can make you block for the idea. Uh, do not presume of your intention, like say, uh, uh, like say someone says that we hold an MSNFC in Montreal and say, okay, it's good to Montreal, don't want to travel to uh, LA for instance. Uh, like, do, not make a, do not presume of people's intention. Ideas like that are not, uh, the intentions are not, they're not verifiable in the case of, it's like the double language on me. Let's see if I can scroll over here. I think I can do one. Parle plus proche du micro, s'il te plaît. Parle plus proche du micro, s'il te plaît.
Yeah. Okay. Uh, does anyone uh, request a vote? Again, that's uh, someone has opposed that we uh, adopt it unanimously. There is opposition? Uh, question, clarifying question. Um, yes. The vote to open is separate from the vote to adopt these procedures, right? Yes, absolutely. I should mention, if ever you feel lost, like with the procedures or anything, don't be shy, go to the microphone, ask the question. It's really, it's not worth continuing if, if uh, you're not following, you know? I mean, like, uh, it's, if we're going to go anywhere, that's all good together. Oh yeah, uh, maybe just for those uh, reasons, when, when you have an information worth on how, what's going on, maybe not to wait as much. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it, it's very, very important, like, uh, like for procedures and such, just go through to the mic, say, question for procedures, something like that, then uh, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, so where were we? Yes, does anyone oppose, does anyone oppose that we adopt this uh, proposal unanimously? No? The GA is now open. Uh, next point would be appointment of the facilitation team. Is there a proposal in that sense? Yeah. Uh, I propose that the information we have is that we should use the app in the presentation team. The proposal is that the four of us uh, be the presentation team. Is somebody second? Yeah. Seven again, I guess. <laughs> Can we other people? Oh, I'll stop it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Josiah. 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 J-O-S-I-A-H. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, the if we have to figure your name, like, we, we won't stay stuck on the, uh, you won't like, spend the J for that necessarily, like, we will just, like, text it later. You can, but, it's probably my name. That's fine. <laughs> I already know your name, I want to know other people. Uh, yes, so is there a debate to be had on the proposal for the facilitation team? That would be the four of us. If there's no debate, we'll head directly to a vote. Uh, does anybody... I just have a question. How is the facilitation team chosen before the General Assembly is called, or is it usually done in the morning? For practical reasons, it's normally like uh, suggested at the ahead of time, but of course the GA is entirely sovereign to decide to destitute, to replace uh, whoever they, they wish, or to elect whoever they wish. Okay. Like, it's, it's good for practical reasons, but if you feel any, if you have any questions about who the team is, uh, what our actions are, about our skills, our qualifications, anything like that, it's entirely your power to ask. Yeah,
uh, GA in the fashion of direct democracy. Uh, of course, this is the patient team, the facilitator, which is the class pretty much shared among the four of us, uh, who simply facilitates to animate the, uh, the general assembly. Uh, of course, we're called upon to make certain decisions like regarding to, to the voting, uh, whether, whether or not we think there's a majority or what. Uh, that being said, every single decision that we make can uh, be appealed by you. Since you, hold, uh, since you hold the asset power, you have the last word on everything that is, that is done. Uh, of course, say if the vote is overwhelmingly in favor of one thing and you disagree and you appeal that it was majority, well, like, simply be in good faith with it. Like, it's, if, uh, if you feel however, that there's a vice in the procedure of the vote, if there was like a, a vice in uh, how something was carried or like anything of the sort, anything that, that, that affects the uh, good functioning of the General Assembly or the, the correct functioning of the General Assembly, uh, don't be shy to appeal. If you feel like you have to appeal, it's probably because uh, you have a reason. Um, minute Taker and Root Watcher. Root Watcher is very important. Uh, the, that person has the responsibility to make sure that the, there is a, a minimum, ideally, no uh, language domination or no. Uh, symbolic oppressions that are uh, perpetrated uh, here in the General Assembly. Uh, anything that could hinder the uh, full participation of a member of the General Assembly. Uh, simply the idea to have uh, a functioning and accessible uh, GA that is not manipulated in whatever way and that we don't reproduce uh, like systemic uh, oppressions in our own Speaking turns, uh, like I mentioned earlier, like the first turn and the second and such uh, uh, turns. Uh, for historic and practical reasons, we apply uh, uh, man and woman uh, alternates. Uh, that being said, like we're uh, of course very much sensitive to uh, uh, people who don't necessarily fit in gender binary. Uh, we honestly don't. Uh, no, it's not part of our practices as yet to have a, a way to integrate the people who are uh, like the gender queer, or gender neutral, or who don't fit necessarily the gender binary uh, as we produce this uh, world of questions. Like, uh, okay. Motions are uh, proposals, rather, sorry, are uh, brought forward in affirmative fashion. They're always, uh, they can always be modified by an amendment. An amendment is in itself another proposal and must uh, concern the content or the nature of the uh, of the proposal that it's amending. Uh, it'll become very clear, like say, uh, well, I don't really know what you're saying. Yeah, like, okay, uh, proposal amendment for amendments. The proposal will always see changes to the form of amendments. Amendments must not be made to change the meaning uh, proposal. Like, can't they go against its nature? Uh, in those cases, it's better to vote against the proposal and then make a new one. When the amendment is okay, it needs to be either adopted or rejected to go back to the uh, A good uh, rule of thumb for GAs is that we do things one at a time. If we want a motion, one make amendment, fine. So we'll go out the amendment, then we deal with the amendment before we go back to anything else. Let's say we're on an amendment and then we want to go to a plenary, which is next. Uh, then we deal with the <coughs> We always do one thing at a time or else it gets chaotic. Plenaries. Plenaries are used to create a discussion space that are not necessarily on the content of the uh, of, a, of a specific motion. Like say we want to talk about uh, the say the motion is that the MSMC is for free education. That we <coughs> say we want to just uh, go beyond the question of whether or not MSMC is part of and that they should be for free education, but we want to talk about tuition fees in the United States and Canada, for instance. Then we can have a plenary and discuss that. But only that. We shouldn't start talking about necessarily, uh, I don't know, Barack Obama's re-election in 2008. <laughs> 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 Yes, 
proposal that I don't know, that's a bit of a look after, but the, for motion, but not for plenaries, uh, so we're discussing that, that motion that both I brought up earlier about uh, uh, MSNC is for education. Let's say we, uh, we've been going on it for a long time and that the same arguments, same debates rather, are, would be repeated over and over again and we're kind of just running around in circles. Uh, you, can, you can make a motion, to a proposal to close the debate. Uh, that's done after a minimum of five uh, interventions uh, at the microphone. And you can say that, yeah, the proposal closed the debate, uh, which is then voted on. That, uh, that's done, that's voted on a two thirds majority, and there's no abstentions. You're either for or against the fact that we close the debate. If you're unsure and think you should abstain, it's probably because you're not sure how you're going to vote, so therefore probably might be to want to continue for plenary, so just vote against the proposal for the debate. Uh, extremely, yeah? Uh, so you said we're in a I understand what it means from the context, but uh, I don't think it's a word that's used commonly in the United States, so it's just the uh, speaking at microphone. Oh, yes. Is there a better word? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What I, meant, what I mean by intervention, just to be perfectly clear, is that when you intervene on a, on a, on a motion and you just like say your opinion or something or anything like this, sort of, just like, just literally to intervene from what we're here. It's extremely important that the, this not be abused, it's to be done in good faith, not to be used to muzzle the General Assembly or to make sure that it is. Say you're, you're, you're in the lineup the, for the microphone, and uh, you see there's someone behind you whom you don't want to hear, and then you so you vote to see you make a proposal for for closing the debate. Well, that's very bad faith, and uh, your idea is not necessarily to uh, have the GA function better. It's like to, to, to muzzle your uh, your comrades behind you. That is not acceptable. And if I see if we see that the like if we have a reasonable doubt that the, it's not done for the right reasons, we're going to just not consider it receivable. We're going to reject. If you want, though, with the, you have the microphone, you've been more by interventions, and you want to close the debate, but there's still people behind you who, and you feel it'd be relevant for them to, to speak, uh, that can be done too. So we won't allow more people to go back to go into line uh, if the proposal is adopted. Uh, but the people who are behind you will be able to finish speaking. In fact, we can we do that step by step when we when we talk about it. Voting. It's either for both of the proposals, you're rather you're either pardon me, in favor, against, or abstain. Uh, it takes an absolute majority for a motion for a proposal to carry. If there are more abstentions than in favor or against, the proposal will be postponed indefinitely. The idea of that being that we could uh, pick it up at a later date. Uh, I'm not sure when that would be, but in case you understand. Yeah, fair mind. What an absolute majority is that it's 50% plus one of uh, of all of all votes expressed that includes uh, that includes uh, abstentions. Abstentions can be counted as a vote against, but you need to have more votes in favor than against and abstain. That's what an absolute majority is, rather than a simple majority, which is simply more uh, for than against. I have like two other intentions. I like a lot of things. It's not very clear, but it's Yeah? I think in general, like a system like that makes sense, but I'm wondering for this assembly itself, um, like, say for instance, we've got a few motions that we wanted to propose that deal more concretely with the situation in Canada and the States. Like, I don't know what the context there is like, so I won't propose anything for it. So, like, it may be the case that maybe we have Americans abstaining on that, um, which would Using this model of the emotion similarly to the American Congress was something to the United States, and I'm not going to vote in favor or against that little stain, but then I don't want that to kill the motion either. And so I'm wondering, is there a way to make it that in this assembly specifically? Like, I get that it's not a problem in uh, other assemblies when it's a closed group, but we're a bit here. My recommendation would have to be to formulate the motion, the proposal rather, in a sense that it invokes the realities of Canadians and Americans. Such as tuition fees, such as student debt. Uh, like, say, like this. 
This is a very international conference. It'd be interesting if, were, if the proposals were like that and what it like specifically like Quebec based versus like the rest of Canada or the United States. But I'm sure like the idea is that we share common realities. I'm sure that if we can have uh, our that being said, of course, like there are more specific things like you say in regards to feminism, in regards to people of color, uh, against the same thing, like but, like I'm sure like even white men can can uh, recognize how uh, feminism for instance can be a good thing or how intersectionality can be interesting. Uh, and by solidarity recognize that and not necessarily like not vote on it because you don't feel the right to That pretty much covers it. Uh, since uh, it's already almost five o'clock, I think we should uh, advance. So that's a very long explanation of uh, the uh, of the proposal. Are there any debates you have? Yes. Uh, on behalf of the Queer Caucus of the um, MSMC, I dissent against uh, the um, proposal and particularly the uh, clause of uh, man and woman uh, speaking order. Um, uh, myself and my comrades feel that uh, this is um, silencing to uh, people who do not identify in this uh, binary and um, puts them on the spot uh, and is unnecessary in a space where um, the uh, good faith uh, of people to not oppress their fellow comrades ought to be um, ought to be uh, as not assumed, but expected. Um, there, sh there should not be uh, a band-aid fix uh, that, mar that in turn marginalizes others uh, to um, cover for someone's unexamined privilege. Uh, therefore, I propose um, an amendment to the um, proposal uh, to the rules of procedure uh, to strike uh, the language um, of a male, female, man, woman uh, speaking order and instead delegate um, the responsibility to the mood watcher uh, to intervene in the uh, case that um, oppressive behavior is being Uh, I didn't bring it up earlier, but normally it's interesting to uh, make the proposal and then explain it afterwards. Since I did not mention that earlier, I will of course accept the uh, receipt rather the uh, amendment. Uh, uh, Seth, Demarlick, uh, Seth Is there a, a pardon me, somebody second uh, Seth's uh, oh, okay. I need the name.
Uh, that didn't work. Uh, for, okay, I did not see any opposition, so I'm going to put it down. Unless, uh, was, well, we're not voting anyway. Uh, yeah, the amendment carries. Yeah. I understand the uh, myself, but uh, <laughs> in, in order to not like interrupt uh, the uh, general assembly, like vote someone silently, I go like this, or I sign to you. Do that in the hand I cannot myself, but uh, <laughs> very uh, So yeah, like either someone signs or something. Uh, back on the uh, now amended rules of procedure, it can now it can always be amended, of course, further. Uh, are there any more dimensions or amendments? Um, I um, propose to amend the rules of procedure to
just as a general like lines and sub lines which is just uh, one thing I have to find. So the amendment would be to uh,
So, and that was adopted as a principal proposal. It was not amended in that sense. There was confusion that it could be arranged. I had asked if there were any other interventions or amendments to be made. Uh, no one came forward. I, I will come forward. I, I'm sorry to amend my amendments, but I should have said my item of six and seven, which is why I asked earlier the computer scroller to go down the list so I could see which items. I intended my proposed priority to be in between principles of the collective statement and future and SNC. Both of those topics. Okay. It has to be extremely clear that we do not do this again. We do not go back in time and to go back on an agenda item that already ended if we actually voted unanimously almost on a given subject. And especially when you're at the computer and making sure that the agenda is uh, that the proposal is as you want it, make sure before we've actually voted on it. I will Back. I will exceptionally allow that we go back because if there was confusion, we have to we have to go back. But uh, let's not do this again. Like the one on screen, like at the very beginning, 
except that we add as 5A plenary 50 minutes on people of color uh, in the NSMC and the law inclusion, and that like 5B would like to be Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, is it add by day as a Yes, as a yes. I misread the numbers because I was mostly too focused on the romantic and the structure of that proposal because I wanted to come to the document proposal. Let me just find out. And 
that um, that we are hoping that the next conference, which has a candle way to be at, will have more people of color and um, will be more accept more accessible. At this conference, I was introduced to a variety of different terms. One of those terms, which I had never heard before, was like racialized person. And um, I'd like some more input from people from French Canada on what this term means and maybe how it relates to passing. Yeah, I'm going to ask the question. Is the Possible to have a translation of the question? 
Uh, I'll say it first in English to make sure everybody's speaking through, then I'll say it in French. Uh, the question was like on the term uh, uh, racialized, in terms of the presence they have to see, to refer to people of color. Uh, it's not what we use in Quebec, yes. Uh, the whole, uh, the question is, uh, what do we mean by uh, the word racist when we refer to the people of color? So you can get to it here, then you want to answer that specific question. Uh, yeah. It's the one to get it. Just on a tangent, if that uh, report from the caucus uh, was to be handed to us, we could like, add it to the minutes. I just want to clarify the question also asked about uh, the relationship with passing. So, passing. passing. The idea of like, um, uh, people, racialization, and um, if someone can be maybe from a like, bio biological age of family that's racialized, and um, people like whiteness is part of that. Uh, to continue on what was being said, 
Uh, in, my, in my mind, uh, to use the uh, group classically in French as a social digital term, who means uh, people who are, uh, who are victims of di differentiation treatments uh, because of their, uh, their, their social group, the color of their skin, etc. Does it make sense? Um, I'm from Montreal, so my understanding of racialized resolves in opposition to whiteness. So if there is some sort of offensive connotation to it, or some of our American uh, comrades would like to clarify something about the way it's being used here, please do explain to us because I'm really confused right now. So.
the only person who identifies as a person of color on the organizing committee. Um, my understanding has been that the organizing committee has always been open to everyone uh, to, to be involved, and that um, people were uh, asked to submit panels um, without. I'm not aware of any uh, consideration according to the. Uh, at any point in the structuring of this class about the panel and the organization. Yes. Um, I believe that it's important that we have a representation of people of color on uh, as facilitators and organizers. Um, but we must take care of but we must take care not to tokenize these individuals. Um, I believe that uh, to move forward, um, reorganizing the structure of this conference so that all the feminist and uh, anti, um, anti racism and anti racism workshops don't fall at the same time. Um,
So uh, I'll consider the theory as uh, ended. Next. Next we arrive at the five view. I believe it's break up. I think it would maybe be useful in the future to have this as part of something that the colonists do, 
or a separate event in and of itself. Uh, I support the I support the proposal not to have a great uh, produce because I we well, we're going to have to sort of multiply the debate. We're still have to you know debate proposal again. proposal that each greater group kind of is trying to multiply the the algorithm we need. Um, I'm getting hungry higher something. <laughs> <laughs> Proposed an amendment? Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to, I propose to uh, reduce three minutes to ten minutes. Uh, and I call on the commission again. Yes, I guess. Uh, uh, I think to explain, I think we should have a shorter breakout time because we're hungry and some of us have to go home. Uh, but I think we should have some breakout time because most of us did not come here as part of the organized group. Most of us came here as individuals or part of an activist group, but we haven't had time to think about the proposals. Uh, so this would give us some time for that. Oh, I don't know. Good idea.
So, like I said earlier, uh, you either be for or against the proposal that closed the debate. There is no abstention. If you're not sure what closed the debate, probably you're no one, two, so just vote no. Or the way you all these two further. So, yes, proposal closed the debate. Therefore, that would end the debate. It was great to vote on the amendment to replace 30 minutes by 10 minutes. But that's what we're going on right now. We're going to vote on ending the debate first. Okay? So all those in favor that we close the debate, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those who are against? Thank you. Uh, the debate is now ended. We will therefore continue the vote on the amendment to replace uh, 30 minutes by 10 minutes. Uh, does anybody uh, request the vote on the subject? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, therefore, all those who are in favor of the amendment to replace uh, 30 minutes by 10 minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those who are against? Thank you. All those who abstain? Thank you. Uh, the amendment is adopted, and therefore the proposal will be modified to, uh, to be the 10 minutes out of the 30. And back on the principal proposal as amended, uh, you may still intervene or debate or even uh, make more amendments if you wish. So, what the so, what about the other debate? Second. Second. Just out of curiosity, would anybody want to intervene on that that was not going to uh, all the reps? Other than opposing. <laughs> How about we just say that, the, that no one was going to intervene and that the, the question was not called, that we'll just avoid the vote and we can go faster towards the actual on the There you go. Okay. So since there were no other interventions, uh, on the proposal that we have breakout groups for 10 minutes, uh, anybody uh, request a vote on the subject? The vote is denied. All those who are in favor, please raise your hand. I'll repeat it since it was not very clear. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Now, we're going to vote right now on whether or not we want breakout groups for 10 minutes. So, uh, some people demand the end of the vote. So, all those who are in favor that we have breakout groups for 10 minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those who are opposed? Thank you. All those who abstain? Okay, uh, the motion is repeated. Are there any other proposals in breakout groups? Uh, are there any debates? 
that sounds like a good time. 10 minutes, 10 10 writing time, 10 minutes. Well, that's the no bad amendments and no bad proposals. It's when you vote it, decide it's good or bad.
uh, all the way
Uh, secondly, each proposal is subject to debate with a different lineup at the microphone. So just bear in mind who your neighbors are. Uh, and you have to like, reform the lines and everything. Uh, we have to trust, we're going to trust you all to self-manage uh, and not to uh, like, uh, cut the line. I trust you all. So like, just, let's just be careful and not mix up the lines because uh, or else it gets kind of confusing. And more uh, like earlier, one whole flat line or uh, the entire proposal is all related, but the, let's make a little cake. We're going to make this. We're going to make this work. I have to see why my cousin is right. Um, I'm from the Revolutionary Student Movement. Um, I've had a really good oh, sorry. Right, sorry, I, I forgot about the revolution. Okay, so uh, what I'm proposing is that we identify uh, the FEC, the FUC, uh, CASA, and the CFS as obstacles to building a, a militant student movement across Canada. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Record, please. Okay, do this right. Thank you. I really don't like shushing, so let's see how I can shush. Thank you. 
Is it okay? I'm going to pick this as a privilege competition on which we are going to vote, okay? Does that work? To um, uh, have all. Let's make the break If this is adopted, I'm going to ask those who are currently in line to uh, one by one, based on the list that, uh, that he compiled, to speak to the proposal. And then we'll go back. There and like if there's a, some that are like overlapping significantly or that are exactly the same thing, uh, I'll leave it up to you to like not necessarily do the same one twice. I mean, it's by saying the MSNC is for free education and the MSNC is against tuition fees, it's the exact same thing. So there's no one that they have exact the exact to a certain performance performativity. Uh, Second. Uh, now, so make three lines. But for those who would like to speak on that specific proposal that Rishia just made, uh, no, this is a uh, two seconds. I have a question about this proposition. Would it be possible uh, once all propositions are going to be on the board that in the discussions of these propositions to make amendments to these propositions. I would suggest that if we vote on that, that we split the position, we make one comment, collective discussion, and then we vote that separately. So then we could vote like, for example, this one, and then we'll this one, yes, and then like,
right from white Or is that there? You're on the list. You're on, yeah, you're on the list. You're there? Then we'll have to. Yeah, because we were in line and then the list was taken up the order in line. That is that for My proposition is um, in any physical space, uh, we dedicate either permanently or temporarily to our activism. We will uh, ensure that all necessary facilities are available to all people regardless of gender. In the case of facilities such as bathrooms and showers, we uh, that are mutually gendered, we additionally resolve to ensure that the gender neutral accommodations are of the same quality and accessibility as their gender equivalents. Thank you. Um, I propose that MSMC recognizes and opposes capitalism as a fundamentally unjust economic system that prioritize profit over people and environment. So what else we have? The five minutes before it's just already being swamped. But uh, we'll all go. We have to give a big hand of all the work. Any time we have things to do. Thank you. Thank you. Je propose que que lorsque la crise des ressources et traditions en France en français soit plus accessible et qu'il y ait plus de présence français et autres langues demandées lors de l'ensemble des activités de la
charge, and not to just say that everybody has been involved. Raise your hand if you're in the organizing committee, or if you did any work, any volunteer work as long as time. You can raise your hand. Or we'll stand up.
you, you don't have, we are not equipped in procedures right now to do so. It will be really long, and I think it's not really. Uh, it's it not worth it. So we would, we would, we wouldn't receive the proposition, and you should then, in fact, appeal for it.
Are there any other proposals? Otherwise, we're going to do the one by one. I think we were on people that at the beginning we voted on the procedure, so if we could follow the procedure that we set out as opposed to continually redefining the procedure as we go, I think we could go a lot further than we did. I do. Um, 
Yeah, I, I agree that we should uh, perhaps expand uh, the statement to, to have some of those practices identified so, so it is not just something that people who aren't involved in, in like directly in these organizations or have had experience with them will understand. However, I still believe that it's useful to identify the organization if only because these these practices that were identified are structural. They're not something that can be taken out and to the truth, they're integral to the organizations or the way they function. And like I, I sympathize with the fact that there are good people organizing within the CFS, but I, I seriously doubt their ability to make change within those organizations. Okay. Yeah, I agree entirely with what the comment just said. Um, you know, it's definitely worth expanding this stuff. We are identifying problematic practices as well. But it is worth being like, these organizations stand for something that exist. Um, it, it's funny that you bring up one of the other kind of examples of Nova Scotia that were a place where the CFS is useful. In actual fact, the CFS is suing a school in Nova Scotia right now that's trying to be better at from the CFS. And so like, I realize that this is maybe a bit abstract for American comments, but these organizations represent real obstacles. Uh, you know, incredibly problematic practices and are an impediment to us moving forward in English Canada. The corn, please. Everything you say amongst yourself is all that you Um, Yeah, I would really like to uh, speak in favor of the amendment to strike the identifiers. Um, not only because the American students in the room may not understand what they mean, um, that's actually what problematic to me um, is the assumption that we have any relevance to your Canadian issues between your different organizations. Um, I don't think it would be right for me personally as an American student to vote on issues of Canadian student unionism or Canadian student organizing. Um, so, you know, this whole conference is supposed to be National. It's supposed to be inclusive. We all came here together to organize together um, and spent three days talking about our collective struggles. That, as it stands, the first topic position does not reflect any of my struggles whatsoever. Um, I think Sean's suggestion of actually about their effectiveness. Um, that is something that American students, possibly students from any other country that would be reading this document and might be inspired by it, could actually relate to. Seeing a bunch of letters on a screen is not going to help anybody. Um, and yeah, obviously movements across like, the globe, perhaps, and not just Canada, because we're all, not all of us are.
very weak. I have to say, as an American, I, I also support, I support the original language, but I also support the amendment. Um, I think as people coming from outside of Quebec here, we're not going to play in the same situation, but part of international solidarity is recognizing that you might not understand every single issue that one, some of your allies are dealing with, but there is a long history here which we can go to Quebec and Quebec in specific will form the order to stop students from striking. Um, our Canadian economy can say a lot more about the backstory of the terrible stuff that the your organization support. I actually have no idea what that is. Um, but what they do, uh, I wouldn't say we might not totally get it, uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes all the reasons it's done. Uh, well,
That's not to say that this is not a completely reasonable pay. That's not to say that maybe we cannot adopt this in the future. Um, and so I would just like to say I'm completely uncomfortable with, uh, with uh, being tacked on to a proposition that has nothing to do with me or the people uh, that work in the United States. Obviously, uh, it impacts us, but I, I just want to that. Um, I, I would like to make a, an amendment to the original proposal if possible. Um, okay, so I have it written. Um, so it would still read um, the way it had originally. So it, it would um, say, I propose that we identify the fact of CASA and save as obstacles to building a militant student, student movement across Canada. Uh, with the addition of specifically in their practices of electoralism, reformism, lobbying, bureaucracy, and careerism. Second, there's no Emily Shepard. Emily Shepard. Thank you. Could you both, I'd like you guys to self manage the, uh, the line for. Uh, like for when you come back to the principal proposal after the amendment is done. So like, uh, just, yeah. Okay, so the second is, uh, I just have to explain. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, so yeah, like I, I, I'm fully in favor of like being more specific because I, I am very sympathetic to the kids. It's a very valid critique that have been brought forward and it being confusing to just have acronyms up there, especially for people who are in the um, I think in terms of, of the American Congress, like I, I really appreciated uh, what someone had been saying about solidarity not always meeting understanding the situation perfectly. Um, it, it's not necessarily perfectly relevant for you, but it's also not necessarily perfectly relevant for all of the students in Canada, a lot of which don't even realize that they're being organized by these organizations. But it's something that's going to start the conversation, right? And and like we need to talk about it. and it, it, might not directly influence you, but it is a show of solidarity and it, it will hinder our practice if, if this motion gets defeated purely by the fact that folks are on the vote. Because it would make a better. We can amend, amend. 
end the debate. We're in favor to end the debate in three and a half. Thank you. Those who are against end the debate. Thank you. Uh, the proposal to close the debate is adopted. We will therefore uh, end the vote. Now that you have the most sit. Is the vote requested on this principle? Yes. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those who are opposed, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those who abstain, please raise your hand. Thank you. The proposal is adopted. Number two, which would be that the NSFC encourage establishment of a combative student unionism in all post-secondary institutions based on direct democracy. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's by John uh, Kulik, uh, the 22nd. Is that good? That's about 10 seconds. Uh, you can explain it if you want. I'm going to try. <laughs> so um, I propose this uh, be because uh, I've sent to most many of uh, this weekend's uh, conference, and I've met some people. And one of the uh, most important issues that comes to, to me was that uh, a lot of schools in, uh, elsewhere than Quebec were not unionized, and a lot of a lot of them were actually unionized, were, were with student governments, and which are not really active uh, in a progressive way. And I uh, remarked that we um, want to organize trust. Whichever. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, now on the amendment. Uh, is there any intention on the amendment on the relevance to include uh, this additional part to the proposal, uh, to the main proposal? I'd like to just move the proposition to add in specific region because they, they by nature, exclude the part of the world that they don't need. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other questions?
they are not the highest in the body. And so I, I'm going to pose a proposal that cannot be enforced uh, as the highest in the body on campus. Um, and I invite people to vote against this amendment in favor of bringing a good amendment that will speak to um, something that I'll think about in the next amendment, but that speaks to supporting direct democracy. And I'd like to know what the word is saying. No, we've already spoken to the people. We're not supporting the people. Yes. Um, I'd like to suggest as a way to get Thank you. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. We're going to vote to end, end the debate while allowing last few speakers to speak. So, like earlier, there's no tensions. Uh, those who are ready to close the debate, please raise your hand. Thank you. For those who are not, thank you. It's adopted. So therefore, we will allow these three speakers to speak, and then we'll go to the This is just to answer the concern of the comment I spoke earlier about the problematic of the highest decision in the body. I didn't understand this point entirely because there was an origin like that shattered going on. But I just want to emphasize why it's very important that we meet the amendment. There's a good history, especially in Ontario, of student unions adopting quote unquote general assemblies, but in fact they're not high decision making body and become purely symbolic uh, organizations that can be overthrown by other perspectives. Uh, and for this reason, I think it's very, very important that if not only general assemblies, but specifically as the high decision making body, I would also throw that I would call it everywhere else. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I put Proposed to uh, make a vote, so that's that amendment. No, well, we rejected a proposal earlier uh, on the grid to modify the procedure code on the grounds that we, there's no such procedure to do so. So I wouldn't see how we could like, make an exception this time. Okay. And um, like, no one appealed my decision either. All right. When, when would the time to do so? Uh, okay. And I'm going to say, uh, right now, we're Voting on an amendment on the proposition that the NSA and the SNC encourage the establishment of combative humanism based on direct democracy. To my understanding, that um, direct democracy uh, really, um, that the proposition as it's, as it's just right now, by the body of the spirit of uh, establishing the GA for the highest decision making body on campus. <coughs> However, I feel that the amendment uh, is too specific. And, and has problems like officially and highest decision making body. Um, so I'm against the amendment, uh, but I'm in favor of the proposition. But I propose that we amend the procedure code to a last sub amendment, which would effectively allow us right now to. Right now I can't make a amendment to the amendment, but uh, amending the procedure code to allow Right now, okay. 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 Uh, make the proposal that uh, cannot be done, and there was already one of the on that earlier. So, uh, we can't do it. So, you're good at that decision? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, well, I'll have to talk about this. Uh,
the proposal because it's in the best interest of the assembly. I'll explain why I did not receive the proposal. For several reasons. Uh, first of all, when one intervenes at the microphone, they either state an opinion, uh, why they are for or against, or uh, such or such proposal and why, or the bring up things about the debate or contribute to the debate in one way or another, or they make a proposal either to amend or to make a proposal of privilege and not do both, not have like an omnibus proposal where you at the time you state your your, your opinion and make a proposal. I was about to be clear earlier that uh, proposals are not to be preceded by a statement of opinion. They are granted, the, the right to do so is granted when, if, the GA uh, seconds the proposal, and therefore it uh, is submitted to the, to the GA uh, officially, and therefore it's like worth uh, discussing. If not, like, not, not both. Uh, second thing, the proposal to uh, to uh, overpass basically the uh, procedural code, which was adopted unanimously earlier, uh, goes against a statement made by the General Assembly that they are in favor of the procedural code in the form that it was in, and have already been amended once. So the uh, possibility to amend it was abundantly clear at the time. Uh, therefore, I did not feel that the conditions were. Uh, united to, uh, to receive a proposal in that sense. So therefore, I did it be a suitable, and I set out my decision. Are there any questions about uh, this process, about the appeal? So, now, the, the, I'm going to ask you to vote on something. The proposal is that we overturn my decision and allow the, uh, allow the sub-amendment, uh, well, allow the, uh, the proposal that uh, would have been made, that is, to, uh, to uh, suspend the procedural code. So, all those in, who are in favor of overturning my decision, uh, please raise your hand. Sorry, can you, I, I didn't get, like, what you're voting for exactly. Could you please? Okay, appeal to the decision of the facilitator regarding the demand for a sub-amendment by suspending the procedural code. So we would be we would be suspending the procedural code to add uh, the possibility to put some amendments. Was it so like four is for suspending and against is against? No, no. No. Four uh okay. Or is that first of all, be honest, or is that you are uh, in favor of overturning my decision? Against is that you are in favor uh, that you recognize that I uh, made the right decision. And then by overturning the decision, we would be able to discuss on this uh, proposal. This proposal. At this time, we're not able to do so because uh, we here didn't receive it. No, we don't think we have to do that. Yeah. We will discuss about making some amendments. Yes. Is that clear? Okay. So, all those who are in favor of overturning my decision, please raise your hand. All those who are against? Thank you. All those who abstain? Thank you. Uh, my decision is maintained. Uh, we were ending the speakers, then we're going to vote on the amendment that we just.
Uh, well, uh, since there's no other, other connections, we are going to go right into the vote. Uh, the vote. Now, we're going to vote on this uh, proposal as uh, twice amended. So, all those in favor of, first of all, pardon me, I'm very sorry. Is the vote requested? Yes. The vote requested? All those who are in favor of the proposal, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those who are opposed? Thank you. All those who are saying? The proposal is adopted. I had to make
components that are often taken by the switch to intervene on this board. So now we have said that we are Yeah, I'm just like to say that, that uh, seeing the way that the proposition is uh, written, uh, I don't really think that you should like have any goals as to what like to do with the edification. I think that to be left to like decide for the people and that uh, the edification should be like um, I think that people should take like uh, care of their own education. Like written like that is like well, of course the state makes education free and we can form like the citizens like we want to form them. Um, I don't I don't think that we should already uh, like uh, decide what goal we're heading towards before uh, beforehand and that like um, I, I I believe that not all free education is like uh, of course for the, it's emancipatory. So like free education is like yeah, I, I, I think like education should be accessible, but I don't think it should form humans uh, and we shouldn't like choose to uh, like put that in that direction. So I don't really like the end of the proposition. And I'll probably take a second for you to have an amendment. Okay. I will invite you all to
Why does that mean? It was an error in the list of obviously an error in either transcription or retranscription. So really, really, that is not the that I'm at. Okay, um, I'm going to make a quick request of the audience. Can I get a show of hands of how many students are Canadian? Uh, I know this is highly relevant. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a privilege proposal to close the MS, MSMC General Assembly. And then I say my name for this. Yes, okay. Uh, sorry, I got very good. Uh, yes, there was a proposal to uh, close General Assembly. Uh, anybody second? Yeah. The name of you're uh, free to explain to me. Am I allowed to do a show of hands from the audience or the Canadian and American still? I don't see how it's over. That's right, is it? What's the part of oh. that? Hey. Oh! Please, uh, simply ask you to explain why you do wish to uh, close the show. I believe, I believe that there are a considerable number of, or a considerable proportion of the original attendees of the MSMC are now gone. And also that um, there may be a larger majority or larger proportion of Canadians to Americans now that there have been so many Americans who have had to leave due to transportation reasons. So um, that may cause a sway in the opinions that come out of the remainder of the General Assembly. And um, uh, the fact that um, it is getting late and such. Uh,
MC. Personally, yes, I want another one. And so that's all the things we have to do right now. We have things to do, and then after that, we can put the other people. That's it. Okay, um, we have a point. Uh, watch. I'm sure that people like in the back are like having like more to go than me, so uh, like, please uh, think about that. Uh, also, like, uh, I, I, I understand that this is like a, a kind of frustrating like, subject for people that want to uh, continue and people that like have to go and we are all really tired of the weekend, but um, just like keep like the, the, the of the region, like uh, calm and respectful of everyone, and like uh, also try not to uh, presume of the intention of the people that like talk before. Um, Thank you. 
conscious of the conscious of the Which the Marine makes the proposal that we provide seconds. Activism 
we ensure that all necessary facilities are available to all people regardless of gender. And again, the facilities such as bathrooms and showers we initially resolved to ensure that gender neutral accommodations are of the same quality and accessibility as the gender equivalents. As a by staff, that if you wish to explain to uh, First, we are in the... Oh, first, yes, we have a second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. and seconded, you may... So this came out of your caucus, and um, the motivation for um, this uh, proposal is that this was not the case at this uh, convention, and um, uh, we believe it was just a matter of oversight, like nothing uh, intentionally harmful, but it's important to acknowledge uh, oversights and prevent them in the future. Uh, so we made a proposal. Are there any debates to be held with regard to this proposal? That's a lot of movement. If I'm done, I'm going to assume that the GA is ready to pass the motion. Yes.
that directly to the uh, local group now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, second? So if you wish to be the first Well, I have seen a lot of the
to the computer of MSNC because we want to be able to configure MSNC and we want to have photo of what we did uh, this weekend on what we talked about and uh, what uh, some a lot of people just plan things and we need to follow up on that so it's very important that we have the time to do that for
Okay, let's let's go back a little bit. Uh, we're on the amendment. We're going to vote on that.
scheduled to finish about three hours ago. <laughs> so, like, today we're 12, uh, well, tomorrow we'll be here. I will be here. I will be here. Uh, uh, but like, it's totally possible, like, to pick it up at a computer fine date. I mean, like, uh, that's not me. But uh, it is possible, yes, it is possible that I do uh, receive the uh, proposal. Uh, and the fourth place, those who would like to intervene on the proposal may do so. Yes. Yes, so I think the problem of losing court uh, will not be remedied tomorrow. Um, <laughs> many of the people that have a group have a family. <laughs> and uh, this is the moment to establish uh, just next next steps. Uh, and and everything that we want to work out, we can continue working out uh, just by following these next steps, not by establishing any kind of a, a formal committee, but just opening up a monthly conference calls for anybody from MSMC or anywhere else that wants to go. Please concentrate your uh, interventions on the relevant subjects of the Thank you. I'd just like to specify uh, for a Sunday evening, you can have a conference day open very much longer. I don't know exactly what time, but like there are physical constraints where the guards with the blue shirts, they won't, they won't touch you. They, they won't touch you because they can't, they're not allowed to do so, but the pretenders are tough, but they're not. They're in the conference. But if you're going to be accommodated, they will let you get out of the I just want to say that uh, if we close the assembly, if we don't uh, like have uh, something to uh, suppose to uh, organize the next MSNC, uh, it's getting sad, but still, uh, there's, a, and, and there's a group of people that are going to organize a joint day of mass action on May 1st, 2015, because we said so. We said that the, the non-campus decided that they wanted that and they're going to organize it with or without the support of the MSNC. But it will be fun to have support and more like, well, it will be easier, but it's still going to happen next year. Don't worry. <laughs>
Um, just uh, to point out, um, several speakers have uh, referenced the previous um, proposal. That was never voted on. We cannot utilize the, the uh, well, I mean, it will happen anyway on some scale. Uh, thank you, wherever you are. Um, but uh, in order to um, in order to refer back to that proposal for grounds, we need to vote on that proposal, and then we can adjourn. But <clears throat> it needs to be adopted before it can be a thing that we refer to as adopted. Thank you. Are there any further? Is no one else? Uh,
during the uh, General Assembly and of the theater and the mandate. Uh, is the vote requested? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The vote is requested. All those in favor, put it hand.
what it might need immediately after this. Please read your, your proposal. As a mandate, I the MSNC. Yes. My proposal is that the working group has amended a mandate from the MSNC. And I can arrange its meetings immediately, starting from immediately following this amendment. Okay. I'm not going to see The world will be exactly the same.